The coordinates of vertices triangle ABC are A1, 2, B3, negative 5, 3, C, negative 6, negative 3. Prove that triangle ABC is isosceles. State the coordinates of point D such that quadrilateral ABCD is a square. Prove that your quadrilateral ABCD is a square. Okay, so a couple of things here. There are three different parts uh, which they um, are asking us to do. So let's do this one at a time. The first part here is to prove that ABC is an isosceles triangle. It says the use of the axes there is optional. I am going to use it. So A is 1, 2. B is negative 5, 3. So 2, 4, 5, 3, which is right here. And C is negative 6, negative 3. Negative 6, negative 3 is here. So we do, we connect, we connect, and we connect. So it says to show that it's isosceles. So AB, let's find the length of AB. The length of AB, if I just count uh, using, mm -hmm. counting the legs of the, um, uh, of the right triangle formed by BA, where BA is the hypotenuse. I see here I'm going, go, I'm going to go across 2, 4, 6, and down 1. So this is going to be the square root of 6 squared plus 1 squared. So AB is equal to square root of 37. Let's see if that is the case with CB or BC. So BC, I'm going to go across 1 and up 6. So yes, this indeed is going to be, so AB does equal to BC. So triangle ABC is isosceles. All right, prove, okay, state the coordinates of point D such that equilateral, such that quadrilateral ABCD is a square. Prove that your quadrilateral is a square. So uh, just looking at this, okay, the slope of AB, the slope of AB is we're going to go down 1 and over 6, so it's negative 1, 6. The slope of CB or BC is, uh, is positive 6. So what we have here, okay, is the AB is perpendicular to BC because of negative reciprocal slopes. So that's important, okay, when it comes to proving something's a square, we need to have a right angle, right? And um, so we need to find out where point D is. So point D, okay, is going to um, be somewhere over here on the, um, on the y-axis. So let's see here, two, four, six. How do I know to uh, pinpoint D at that particular point? Well, I know that um, a square is also a parallelogram, which means opposite sides are supposed to be parallel. So therefore, AD should be parallel to BC. Same thing could be said about CD and AB. So DA should have a slope of 6 as well. So uh, right now, AD, I can also say to justify that it too has a length of th radical 37 and CD also has a length of radical 37. So ABCD is a square because all sides are congruent and there is one right angle.